Hi everybody, welcome to The Pagan Perspective. My name is Angel and I'm your Friday host. And today we're going to be talking about Devil and Witchcraft. Okay, I'm going to put the entire question down below, like I usually do. And I'm sorry for the lighting in here. I'm losing my daylight and I haven't plugged in my big light. Uh, basically, I'm going to paraphrase because I've tried to record this video I don't know how many times and I'm having a hard time doing it and I'll explain why in a moment. The individual that wrote in is a Neil Wiccan who practices witchcraft and has been seeing a lot of posts that have been upsetting to them uh, in regards to the fact that you can't ignore the devil's connection with the craft and if you practice witchcraft you are of the devil whether you like it or not. So just in case you guys are wondering gotta like it or not. Um they their question is about our opinion on people saying saying things like you can't separate witchcraft from the devil specifically people who like the devil as a concept, deity, or philosophy. Uh, okay. My biggest issue with people saying that is, well, two, actually. One is that it's a lie. <laughs> it's a complete lie. The devil has nothing to do with witchcraft, period. It just doesn't. Uh, the devil is a Christian deity, has nothing to do with the craft. That is a complete and utter lie. It's like the worst rumor that we've never been able to get rid of. I don't know why people keep believing it and they don't educate themselves. I, I, don't, I don't get it, but it's a complete lie and that's my main issue. My second issue and I kind of said it in my first issue, is people are saying this without looking it up themselves. They just hear it from somebody and they're, oh, it must be true. I, I, yeah. I mean, this has been, this along with sacrificing animals or children, I think they said children too. Um, what else? Naked orgies in the forest. Um, I don't know. This is a lot of complete garbage. Um, there might be people who have orgies in the forest, but them being pagan, that's just coincidence. That's not a thing. We don't, that we don't really, you know, that's not something we do all the time or at all, some people. But, you know, it's just, it's a, if how I feel about it is it's frustrating, it's annoying because it is a lie and, uh, you know, I, it's 2015 and I don't really know how long we have to, like, go back and forth about this. And the complete and utter arrogance of, you have to accept it, like it or not. Um, no, I, I don't, I don't have to like it because it's not true and you, you saying like it or not is like, you know, saying, oh, affinity, like we can't say anything else. Like, no, this is, I would say it's childish, but that's offensive to children, so I'm going to say ignorant. There, I've been on this path for a very long time, and I have never, ever, ever worshipped the devil, honored the devil, acknowledged the devil, or anything else. Okay, the devil is f completely fictional to me. Completely. I'm not afraid of the devil. I, I, I believe all the evils in the world are done by people who choose to do them. It's their choice. They could have made a better choice, but they didn't. Um, I just, I just don't believe in that whole concept. If people do, fine. That's fine. Believe in it if you want to. Uh, whatever, but don't be so arrogant and ignorant to look at a path and say, oh, it's part of it, whether you like it or not. 
no, that's, that's, no. <laughs> this is where I get really frustrated and Trump and um, kind of uh, tripped up because I get really angry, primarily because my path, this path for me is incredibly important and it is one of the loves of my life. So to have somebody demonize it in their opinion, but to say untruths about it is hurtful. It makes me angry and I'm kind of tired of it, really. It's kind of old, I'm like get a new spiel, something like really the same devil worshiping thing. Uh, you know, um, I do think that people in the world have come a long way in understanding that, that you know, our what our religion is and what it's not. But there's still so many people out there and a lot of people who just go on the internet and post whatever they want because they can, they can stay invisible and they get a lot of bravery when they, when they do that, you know. I don't see them posting videos about what they think and accepting the backlash that they'll get. But anyways, that's a separate topic. <laughs> but the point is, is it's a very deep and meaningful thing to me. So when, I, when people lie about it and don't do their research about it, it, it upsets me. You know, like if I said something that was untrue about Christians or Christianity in general. Christians would have a problem with it. It would be upsetting. It would be untrue. It is the same thing. I had a, I had a conversation with a family member once who said that just because you don't believe in the devil doesn't mean he's not real. And my response was, just because you do believe in the devil doesn't mean he is real. And as much as that's tit for tat and you can go at that all day, the point is that you believe in him that's your truth. I don't. That's my truth. Why can't we just live our truth? Why are we constantly trying to make people believe what we want, what we believe? It doesn't validate our beliefs and it doesn't devalue our beliefs if they don't believe in it. But I understand why it would be hurtful when people say that stuff. And maybe it's hurtful to you for a whole different other reason. And I'm sorry, I'm losing my computers going off. Sleepy time. But my 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 statement would be just don't don't let it bother you i mean don't let it get to you um i know it's hard but try to educate people as much as you can try to be a good representation of your faith as much as you can regardless if you're new at this or you've been on this path a long time just be a good representation. Because remember, you're, when you're out in the world, you're representing all of us. We all represent each other. Whatever we do will affect how people see the rest of the pagan community. So try to keep that in mind and just educate people. We can't ignore these kind of people anymore. We really can't. Um, for a lot of different reasons which I'm not going to totally go into because that's a whole nother long video. But the point is, is we can't, we cannot ignore these people. We can try to educate them and other people that might listen to them so they can see, you know, the, what, what the reality is before they start buying into this ancient, ridiculous lie. So, that's my opinion on it and I hope I didn't rant too much because I this is like the 10th or 12th time I've tried to record this video it, like I said it, it's a very sensitive subject to me and it makes me ma very upset to hear people make these kind of comments but I'm really glad that somebody wrote in about it because it did make me it made me it made me try to calm my mind to really think out a conversation without a lot of like profanity <laughs> so I had to articulate myself so that 
made me think of things a different way of how to put them. So I appreciate you writing in to that um, comment or that question. And that that's it for me. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And please feel free to leave a comment or a question down below. I love hearing from everybody. I get great comments, great, great questions. And if I missed a question um, that anybody has left down in the below area on any other videos, please feel free to go over to my personal channel, which I will put the link down below and send me a private message. And I will try to respond to you either through that message or with a video. All right, everybody. So have a great rest of the weekend. And um, until next time, blessed be. Bye.